Good morning, everyone. Eminence from X5 and Larry Word here, coming to you from Ash Meadows. It's pretty early in the morning, and I'm out here, uh, pretty much have the whole place to myself. And I thought you guys might want to come take a look. The visitor center, that's where I'm at. I'm, I'm at the visitor center, and I'm about to go take a, a quick walk around there. I think it's a one mile loop. He's pointing the way, I believe. And he's pointing in the direction of this beautiful little prairie out here. You can see a little wooden walkway out there. Let's go check it out. Mr. Lizard. Cool little wall here. Let's check this out real quick. Hiker stick. It's like a ram's horn. Sure enough, there's the hiker stick. The footprints of the hiker. <laughs> That's really cool. Nicely done, folks. <laughs> Camera. What is this about here? Some kind of history thing? Montage? Ain't that the truth? That's where actually I'm going today is Devil's Hall, where the pupfish actually live. A portal <laughs> to pupfish world. <clears throat> Very cool. So this is the walkway we start on. This is the trailhead, in other words, but uh, it doesn't go very far. Okay, I'm going to uh, start on the uh, start of the trailhead here, and I'm going to go out to this uh, podium, and uh, we'll pick up the video from there. This particular sign actually is very helpful. The mountain range down here at the bottom uh, and the uh, illustrations above or the uh, depictions above really describe the area well when you look out towards the mountain range out there. I find that kind of helpful. I just thought I'd point this one out. Where all things gather, showing some of the uh, Native American tribes here. It's my local area. It's the Colorado River. Some tribes up there. Pretty amazing. And down below, past the Hoover Dam, you have these tribes as well. Pretty interesting. I really like the uh, illustrations and maps they have out here. Pretty cool also, they have these binoculars out here for distant viewing. Automatic focus. And they're free, folks. That's not often you see that. <laughs> Pretty cool. Of course, right now, it looks like we're looking right at the sun. I'm probably going to turn those over. That one, this is a safe. You can look through one of these. Oh, yeah, these are terrible. <laughs> I can't see through them. They're too dim. Okay, so we made it to this first gazebo, and we're going to follow it off to the left here. There's a split. We're going to take the left and uh, go up here to see the springs real quick, or the little, like, clear river. It's pretty cool. Let's just go check it out. I'll get to this next sign up here. It's right just directly ahead and I'll turn the video back on. No ordinary meadow, and boy do they have that right. Small illustration of all the little wildlife that you'd see out here. Pretty interesting, but look at this. Look at this landscape, folks. 
that amazing? Stunning out here. Okay, we're looking in the direction of the visitor center. This is where we came from. There's the gazebo that we were just at, right there. And we traveled all the way up here to this uh, time is it, timing uh, is everything sign. Gives you a little uh, illustration again of the wildlife that you would see here. And it is actually gorgeous out here in this morning. We're headed off in this direction. Just around the bend there is uh, the main attraction. Again, we're not far from the visitor center at all. And it's just a small flat walk, small walk, very casual on a very flat surface. It's beautiful out here. It's stunning. A lot of vegetation over here. So this is my, my second time here, but uh, my first time here was just blew my mind. This little area here. It's so lush in vegetation. Nichols. She taught us how to love. Anyone who can do that gets a vote in my book. We start heading back from here continue on uh, and finish this loop out and take you guys along with me to show you some of the sights. It's pretty cool. Let's head on out. Life in Crystal Spring. Again, more of these illustrations that really illustrate what's going on here. It's pretty damn cool. So that river basically goes right on through here. See right over there where the above ground river kind of flows through. I believe Sarah was calling this water fossil water because it comes from a really old underground aquifer.
as to not bore you guys so much, I'm going to walk straight down here and turn the camera back on when I get to that bend right there. Of course, I'll turn it back on if there's anything interesting, but it uh, looks like just a pleasure walk here, a little stroll. Okay, so I'm at the other end of that uh, long walkway. That's where I came from. We're going to be walking uh, after this bend here, down through here, and off into this area over here. Oh, another illustration. Cool. I love these little sitting points or rest stops. Um, it's not far in between, but uh, they're fun to read. This is uh, Nature's Gardeners. I guess that's who, critters who take care of the desert or clean up or all the above. So as you can see, it loops around uh, this way and then back around and out towards the uh, visitor center again. And that's the little junction, the little gazebo that we took a left at and went up this way. Well, the, it loops back this way and we're done with the loop. It's very quick. Back be surprised if it's even one mile, but it's an awesome little hike because it's right through this beautiful meadow. And without this, it'd be very difficult to see this stuff. I mean, I wander out into the nowhere so quite a bit, and I see this all the time, but uh, this is pristine, and I like that. Minus the walkway, but I'd rather have this than, you know, ammo on the ground and beer cans and all that other desert trash. Let's continue on here. You get a little glimpse of the, uh, the water there coming down. Little change in path there. Calvada Lakes. Okay, so Calvada Valley. So, yeah, this whole area was supposed to be de developed, and uh, it, because of the underground aquifer, and uh, what stopped it was the pupfish, basically, and uh, this endangered uh, pupfish here kind of put a halt to the whole little next Vegas coming. And uh, it's really, it's a touchy topic around here because, uh, well, people were going to get rich off this idea and uh, it didn't happen. But there's a ton of water underneath us, um, probably more than we could even imagine. So these pupfish are kind of keeping a lock on all that because of this uh, lock, uh, Calvada uh, has ground to a halt. And that's no longer pretty amazing. Check it out online somewhere.
So we're back at the gazebo. Didn't take long at all. I highly recommend coming out here, folks. A lot of fun. Beautiful. Especially if you have the whole park to yourself. It's quite amazing.